So, you know, Capricorn, I'm not sure whether you know that this person has gotten attached to you very early on as well, very early on. Uh, you see this very different to how they're experiencing this. So let's start your re reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what is going on. Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamp, which should be in the description bar below so it should say start reading and then um click on that and it'll bring you to the start okay so you always say please you know just take what resonates leave what doesn't and if this isn't your story but then pick up on your story stick around as there's some time you know could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you and uh, of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so just give a moment to finish laying these cards take these in and i'll be back so capricorn let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up is this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here? But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonate the most. All right. So just looking at the past, um, you know, you kind of saw this relationship or this connection as something that you wanted to just um, embark on a new adventure with. Not necessarily make it into maybe an exclusive type of relationship simply because we've got that unsure card there which is the chariot this is a kind of indecisive um card the chariot for me so there was this yes i'm ready to embark on this new chapter this new adventure with this person but i'm unsure about something and i feel like it's a lot to do with taking this serious um yeah i, I don't feel like that was you know this new adventure includes that if that makes sense but for your other person or for your person whoever this is uh, Capricorn it seems like they had gotten attached to you pretty quickly with the devil card there I feel like there was some form of attachment to you not sure what not to say you know <laughs> not just not to say that you know uh, you're not worthy of someone becoming attached but I feel like this person it happened very quickly for them uh, but with that it kind of gave, gave them a feeling of it being a, a somewhat of a burden I feel like this person feels maybe uncomfortable with that fact as well that they've gone or that they got attached to you pretty pretty quickly. Just bringing the bringing you know to where it is at the moment. We've got this nine of knight of wands. If I can speak, I'm sure what's going on. Um, this knight of wands, which represents you know a lot of passion, a lot of desire, uh, but it's not a stable commit committed type of uh, card. And this is more about you know let's just enjoy it let's enjoy our time together and I feel like for you this has a lot to do with you kind of maybe masking other stuff that's going on I feel like there's a person we've got this queen of of uh cups here in your challenge position so I feel like this relationship or this connection is kind of a uh I would, is it a placeholder is that the saying a placeholder or a temporary type of situation for you simply because there's this queen of cups sometimes that can represent um what's the what's what's water sign uh, a scorpio pisces cancer um that you know it plays into this for you in some way shape or form they're in your vicinity whether that's energetically physically there's something around another person which i feel like of course this might be the reason as to why there's the indecisiveness here I feel like that it's that as well as the fact that you picked up on this person and they have become attached. But this new adventure doesn't include, like I said, this commitment, this um, serious type of setup. It's more about enjoying the moment, maybe friends with benefits type of situation or just kind of 
uh, having an open dating type of situation uh, for you, for you. I, I want to stress that for you because it's not like that for this person. Like I said, they've become attached early on as well. Um, and just, just the fact that it's not a stable or an exclusive type of relationship is causing them a lot of stress and worry. I'm not sure why this person has a tendency or has had the tendency with you to become so attached and you know because it's yeah I feel like there's a lot hmm. usually of course it's coming from a place of insecurity mm -hmm. however I'm trying to see if there's anything that's jumping out that's the cause of that insecurity and nothing's coming out but what it is doing is is preventing this you know relationship from coming coming together not to say that it takes away from the fact that there is this other person around you or within your vicinity energetically but you know i feel like it doesn't help when this person is displaying such a such a needy type of um energy towards you but they're stressing out really stressing out they're not happy with the situation they're not happy with how things are currently um like i said for you it's something completely different for you, it's in the meantime, an in the meantime type of setup. And for them, it's it's just it's just not. It's just not. They're wanting to establish something tangible as well. Tangible. You know, they're wanting something reliable, loyal, stable, emotionally. Um, yeah, and we've got the justice card as well. They're wanting their treatment. I'm not sure what conversation or what communication you've had with this person. I'm not sure whether that would even make a difference or would have made a difference because again, this person got highly attached early on where for you, it's not really, really that. Like I say, you're kind of using this as uh, a way to kind of maybe move on from someone or get over someone or just kind of uh, stop thinking about someone like a replacement type of thing and you're looking to proceed with with that as well I don't feel like you're paying attention too much to this person's stuff and that might creep up on you <laughs> um you know because usually we move into the extended version of the reader we dig a bit deeper into what's going on here but that might creep up on you simply because it's this devil card so early on uh, yes, this is the past, but this could be the recent past. This could be whatever. I'm not sure the extent of how long this relationship had been going on for, but this person definitely got attached uh, to you very early on. Very early on. Yeah. So I would recommend, I mean, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. I can't try to see what else I can take from this. But really, I feel like if you haven't communicated with this person, it's best to uh, do you know try again. Simply because it's not to say that would even make a difference. Person has gotten attached already. So um, yeah, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm in that, guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week. Bye.